So how's it going my NoFap and Team Retention Brothers? Hope everybody's doing well. You guys are still retaining. You guys are still trying to become the best versions of yourselves. Staying productive each day, man. All right, guys, so today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about Team Retention and weed, and the effects of weed. Should you smoke it when you're on Team Retention? First, let me just throw in my two cents about weed, all right, guys? It sucks. All right, now let's get into the video. All right, so weed pretty much does the same thing to your mind that alcohol does, okay? It's pretty much the same exact thing. It creates more brain fog. It just has more of the similar effects that, as alcohol does. Don't get after me in the comments section trying to justify weed and alcohol, okay, guys? If you're going to try to do that, go to some other thing on the internet and start doing it there. Don't do it in my comments section, all right? But it's going to have the same exact effects as alcohol. Very similar. You're not going to know exactly where you are. You're going to feel like you're having fun, but it's not really fun. It's just your brain actually not having the proper function that it's supposed to have. And so you make yourself even more lazy. And what else is going to happen is your brain fog is going to increase. You know how on seam retention, men say that their brain fog actually goes away. They get more mental clarity. How did they get that? They get that through meditation. That's the reason why they don't require alcohol and weed into their lives because they're using something else that relaxes them a healthier way, which is meditation. Okay, guys? And excessive dopamine, like I just said, is going to make you extremely lazy. Which is the same reason why right after you masturbate, right after you watch a pornography video and you ejaculate, and then you release prolactin. Prolactin is that hormone that just makes you feel a lot more sleepy. Same thing with marijuana, okay guys? Same thing with weed. Okay, whenever, whenever you smoke it and you feel that mental brain fog going on and you just feel like everything's slowed down, you just feel like, oh, you know, I'm seeing everything through more clarity now because, you know, I'm more slowed down. Shut the heck up, man. That's stupid. Okay? You're just becoming more lazy. That's exactly what's happening. You don't see brighter new things while you smoke weed. Okay? That's just your brain playing tricks on you. Okay? And what else? What, what's, what's the main reason that you guys actually do this crap? What's the main reason you guys actually go out and go to friends' houses and you're like, oh, let's vape. Oh, yo, let's smoke. Let, let, let's do weed. Well, why does this happen? Majority of the time is because your life is boring as shit and because you guys are stressed out. Why are you stressed out? I have no idea, but that's your problem. Okay, you have to deal with it on your own. You have to deal with it a healthier way. Start meditating. Start doing that. Okay, guys, start reading God's word and incorporating it into your life. I promise you, your problems will start to fade away slowly or surely. But the things that you guys don't have that much patience, which is why you want instant gratification, which is why you guys end up going to things that give you that kind of high very quickly and that's why things like alcohol and weed are things that are like billion dollar businesses because you guys need that crap right because and you guys are promoting that and next thing you know your favorite artists are also promoting that so then you're like okay I have a justification now okay you know what else happens when you smoke a lot of weed you get these freaking urges okay when you get these urges you're more than likely to relapse you will relapse if you if you smoke marijuana if you smoke weed if you do if you drink alcohol and then i promise you you go home you will feel more of an urge to relapse and you will be more readily like ready to relapse because your brain again is being more lazy at this point and now it just wants you know to sleep to rest so what's the better what's the best way to do that releasing prolactin which is by ejaculating watching some stupid pornography video all right guys that's all the information i got for you today man all right man it's Brian heroes guys